would now like to introduce a powerhouse mother-daughter duo, Bonnie Abanza, class of 1982, and Larissa Peltola, class of 2014. Bonnie is a human rights activist who develops social impact campaigns for documentaries and films highlighting important human and civil rights issues, including girls' education. Larissa is following in her mother's path of women dedicated to social justice and human rights advocacy. She was awarded a Fulbright scholarship and went to Hungary in the fall of 2018 to work for nine months with the Roma people. Please join me in welcoming Larissa and Bonnie. Hi, I'm Bonnie Abanza, class of 82. Hi, I'm Larissa Peltola, class of 2014. She's my daughter. And she's my mother. We're both very happy to be participating in this telethon for NDA to help raise funds for the school. And one of the reasons that we were asked to do this together is because we are both human rights activists. We both, uh, I think, would agree that our political consciousness was really developed while we were at NDA. And during my years there, I was part of a number of movements, including the Sanctuary Movement and the Anti-Apartheid Movement. And my activism continued when I went into UCLA, where I studied poli-sci and IR. Um, after I graduated from UCLA, I went into the film industry, where I worked for 15 years. I left the film industry when I was hired by the human rights organization Amnesty International to launch their Artists for Amnesty program. And during my years at Amnesty, I was fortunate enough to work with filmmakers, producers, studios, uh, and entertainment professionals who really cared about human rights. And so I ran the campaigns on movies like Black Diamond, Hotel Rwanda, Constant Gardner, Born Into Brothels. And that work continues to this day now with my company, The Abanza Group. And I work with studios, with um, streaming platforms, with cable companies, on films and documentaries that focus on human rights and social justice issues. Most recently, uh, working on the campaigns for Roma, Period End of Sentence, and American Factory. I also consult for a number of UN agencies, including the International Labor Organization. Yeah, I would have to agree with my mom. My, the majority of my social justice work took place at NDA. I was really inspired by the teachers and staff there and my fellow students. Um, following my graduation in 2014, I went on to study international relations with a concentration in genocide, human rights, and Holocaust studies at Claremont McKenna College. Uh, in 2018, I graduated from Claremont. Uh, I went off to do a Fulbright Fellowship in Hungary, uh, promoted by the U.S. State Department. There in Hungary, during my 11 months that I lived and worked there, I was able to interact daily and work very closely with the Roma community in Eastern Hungary. Uh, the Roma in Europe are the largest ethnic minority and marginalized population there. Following my 11 months, I wrote a short book highlighting my experiences there, uh, engaging in interviews with the community members that I worked with nearly every day, and felt so much love and compassion for that community and was able to really bring back that work here. Uh, I'm looking forward to starting my master's program in human rights studies at Columbia University in the fall. I'm very proud of my daughter, just to say that. <laughs> and I'm mom. very proud of my mom. <laughs> and um, we are planning a trip, which has been slightly delayed because of the pandemic, but um, we are going to be going to Bangladesh and, um, you know, meet with the refugees, the Rohingya, people who are the refugees who have been escaping the genocide uh, that's occurring in Myanmar. And because Larissa wrote her thesis on genocidal rape, we're going to be interviewing uh, a number of victims and um, you know, be getting that information out to the public. And I'm also working on a documentary uh, about the genocide of the Rohingya people. So we really want to encourage you to donate to NDA. And one of the things that I've done in the past now, I think five, six years, right? Maybe even seven years, I funded a scholarship at NDA uh, with money given to a student who wants to do human rights work. And so we're going to now continue that together and to fund that and I just throw out this challenge for classmates from uh, class of 82 to please donate um, and you know start your own scholarship if you'd like but donate it's really important that we help fund um, you know these scholarships for these students and so I throw out a $10,000 challenge to my former classmates so 
please consider donating. It's a pleasure that we were able to participate. We hope that you enjoyed our interview. This was not scripted. <laughs> I'm not sure what take this was. We did our best. <laughs> we did our best. Anyway, thank you for allowing us to participate and um, you know, we will continue to support NDA. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in Hour 6. Stay tuned for Hour 7 where we will look at an NDA classic, Friday Morning Live, and also talk about our sports here at NDA.